Well, hi there. Today I will be explaining to you the basics of EQ. So what is EQ? Uh, EQ is basically what you use to manipulate or even out the sound waves of your mix or your instruments. This is a huge tool in music production. You will use it all the time and every software in the world has its own built-in EQ, I think, I hope. And I would say this is probably one of the biggest tools to make your mix sound good. In Cubase you have this EQ built in, but you also have plugins that you can use for this. You can purchase EQ, you can find free EQs, everything. Like this one, for instance, is 10 dots compared to Cubase built in EQ, which has four. Sound waves are measured in hertz. You can see in this EQ spectrum that you have from 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz, which is 20,000 hertz. And in this one, you have from somewhere around 20, I guess, up till 16K. Now, what kind of EQ you're using is up to you. You, you should use the one you feel comfortable with, I guess. But of course, if you have a lot of dots, you have a few more options than if you have four. Every sound in the world will react differently in this spectrum. And for newborns, for example, you they can hear sounds up to 20 kilohertz. And as you grow up, this number will get lower. And, and this is also why older people can't hear like high frequency beeps or stuff like that. From the bottom to the top, you go from bass up to mids up to treble. And you have the, the lower mids and the higher mids. And that's that's basically it. So if I take this piano and I record something basic. Like that. Now I have a basic melody line for the piano. And if we open the EQ here now, you can see that this is the area where the piano is generating sound. And if you take your EQ like this, you'll hear that now it's heavy on the treble and as you go down it will get heavier on the bass. Now the thing you can do to even out or manipulate your EQ or your sound waves is that you can use these dots to emphasize or cut out some of the sounds you like or don't like. Now you can hear that up here where the piano is not normally generating any sound. There's a reason for that. And in this EQ, you can see that the blurred out line is how it sounds without EQ adjustments. And the, the clearer line is how it sounds now after you have done your adjustments. Now in the piano, for instance, you can hear that there is some sort of clicky noise up here. Now we can cut out that clicky noise. And the thing you often will do with different instruments is that you will make a small cut around somewhere between 100 and 300 hertz because there's a lot of mud there, as you can hear now. Uh, that's just that's just some filthy terrible weird sounds so I often do uh, in my music cut somewhere around here just remove some of that mud I found a guide I will put a link to it in the description it's made by a guy named Aaron on his blog or a blog I don't know and he explains where the most common instruments like the drum kit where the bass guitars electric gu guitars uh, where the sound is in terms of hertz and where you want to emphasize where you want to cut out to get the sound you want in that instrument like in the guitar where do you hear the string noise the noise from the steel strings if you want to remove that 
uh, where's the melody more clear and stuff like that. So I will put a link in the description so that you, you can read that. Now, if you go away from the piano and take string instruments instead, you can see that they react very differently. Like the piano was had sound waves from 20 hertz to 5k. And on this instrument, I have double basses, cellos, and violins. And if I play a double bass note, you can see that the sound is very heavy down here in the bass area, while the cello is more in the middle and how the violin is more reacting more on top. So you can hear that if you emphasize down here at around 100 hertz on a violin, just get this weird, bouldering, terrible noise. Even though you, you can't hear it that much when playing a note, maybe you want to do a cut down here. So there's no, there's no correct answer on how to do EQ. There are certain things you do want to consider, of course, but there's no definite answer. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of EQ. Enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Goodbye.